assim, ó. It's really bad. Toby, what's in your mouth? Is that pizza? Is that my pizza? <laughs> this is the part where I hope I can shed some light on to the fact that we have no idea what anybody is ever going through like that girl you just made fun of her haircut what if what if somebody in her family just died and that's her way of distracting herself like you just bullied her now you look like the fucking idiot because like did, did you get the girl did you get the job did you get the promotion no oh then why did you do it what, what did it bring you what did it bring you what did it bring her did it change the world <laughs> no it fucking didn't and now you're out here looking fucking dumb what is the fucking purpose of spreading negativity? The fucking cosplayers on here that have fucking cringy ass videos. Yeah, they're cringy. Who fucking cares? Just let them have it. Because it's not hurting you. It's not hurting them. Literally not hurting anybody. So why the fuck do you feel the need to fucking harass somebody that you don't know what the fuck they're going through? Just spread positivity. Don't be a fucking dick. That is it. Part three. So, the point of this is to get you guys to shut the fuck up when you don't know somebody and you want to fucking judge them based off a of physical fucking appearance, based off just a fucking joke they make. If you don't know somebody, shut the fuck up. You have no fucking room to speak about what the fuck they're going through. Like, I was running to go kill myself, to jump off a fucking freeway pass, and I got called fat. By people I didn't fucking know because I just escaped my fucking abusive boyfriend. But a group of fucking teenagers thought it would be so clever and so fucking funny. Like, it was just it. Like, that's it, chief. To call this girl fat right fucking now. We have no idea what the fuck she's going through. As she's running in the middle of Arizona with fucking tears down her fucking face. What? Bitch! Okay, part two, I'm sorry, I hate when people do that shit, but it's a story that really shouldn't be rushed because it's emotional, and it's traumatic, and I don't want this to be something that is disrespected by me having limited time, so there might even be a part three, get over it. Anyways, um, so if you know me, or if you've followed me for a while, then you know that I struggle with anorexia, and I have for over a decade, and I'm just now starting to get help for it. But in the moment of this story taking place, I had not even embraced the fact that I have an eating disorder. Um, I just knew that it was something that affected me heavily. And you may think, like, what the fuck does that have to do with you running to the freeway to go kill yourself? Listen. As I was running to the freeway, this really cute group of teenagers drove past me and thought it would be funny to yell out, Run, fatty, run! Like, what compels you to think you know what's going on in somebody's life? What? Tell me. PSA about a dream that I just had that was based on a real-life event and that I hope nobody else has to ever experience. Haves. Anyways, um, two years ago, I was in a really, really abusive relationship. Um, like, this guy would slam my head in doors and shit like that. Um, and there was one day that he was getting really aggressive and messy because I wasn't opening up to him about a traumatic experience that I had in my past before I knew him and um in my head I had to get away and the best option was to go to the nearest freeway and jump off the overpass to take care of things if you know what I meant and um so that's what I tried to do I was literally running to a freeway to end my life i knew this guy was following me and i needed to get it done quick so i was bolting i hate when people do this but i'll make the part two right now she's good because when you're in your 20s you think you're cool and you know everything 